Who's ready for season nine of Big Brother Canada? You know, we kicked the night off with an immediate twist. You know, the twist was announced beforehand and we learned that all of our house guests would be competing in teams to start off the season and the two captains of those teams would be voted on by us, the fans. Uh, I really like things that involve us voting. Uh, you know, I would even like to see it go a little bit further to have us have some control in the even the evictions, even if it's just for the start of the game. I think that would be very interesting and really change the entire atmosphere of the games, you know, similar to what's been done on, uh, you know, Big Brother Brazil, Big Brother Australia, if any of you have ever watched any of those. Uh, so, like I said, two, two teams, two captains voted by us, and the two captains end up being Tina and Kiefer, and I thought it was interesting that it's the two, or the oldest male and the oldest female that end up as the captains. You know, that to me says that people want older house guests. They want to watch people a little bit older. You know, I see this on other shows as well. You know, one that sticks out to me is The Bachelor. The, you know, the young 20-somethings just aren't as relatable to the majority of the fan base. And I wish that we got to see, you know, a lot more people in their 30s, 40s, 50s who are the actual people watching the shows. Um, so anyways, back to our two teams. So Tina, she ends up being the captain of Team Destiny, and uh, she ends up drafting her team as uh, Tyshawn, Tara, Kyle, Beth, Victoria, and Austin. They also end up being the team that wins the first team challenge, so they all have safety for the week. On the other side, uh, Kiefer ends up drafting Jetson, Latoya, Josh, Julie, Rohan, and Brayden. Uh, I I really think the teams seem fairly even. You know, we'll have to see as we get deeper into the competition. Like the the challenge came down to the two final people. It's not like one team just just whooped on the other team right out of the gate. It was uh, neck and neck down at the end. Uh, I think that was Victoria, uh, you know, a little shaky on all our names of everybody to start off here, who ends up winning for Team Destiny. And, you know, really, she was never in trouble at all in that competition. You know, we even saw the little cutscene to her interview uh, trying to say like, yeah, I was, I was actually faking being in trouble so that people like wouldn't notice how easy everything was for me. And, uh, yeah, she like, she just kind of looked like she was just locked in place. And I, that's how I would, I was thinking, watching, like get in a position, like don't use your hands, like hook your arm in, lock your arm off a little bit and just use your body to hold that bucket up. And that's what she did. That's what, what led her to victory. Uh, so yeah, Team Destiny, they're safe. Kiefer from Team Defender, he's also safe uh, as the captain, but the other six are up for elimination. So that is going to be a very wild right off the bat. Six people up for elimination and everyone in the house, uh, I believe, I don't even, I don't know if Tina, they said Tina votes as the tiebreaker, but I don't know if she votes as well. So even the nominees will be voting this week. And that's going to make things very interesting because it really gets everybody involved right off the bat to kind of make those alliances, make those deals because, you know, they have a vote too. You know, people on the block can work together to conspire against another person on the block. Very interesting to me. And uh, I like I like that uh, little little bit of a mini twist, I guess. And prom my guess is that's only going to be a one week thing. Uh, you know, maybe not. Maybe it goes as long as the team stuff is up. But, you know, really, that's all we got for tonight. Uh, everybody's in the house. We're ready to go for season nine. And I'll be back again tomorrow night for our first eviction. So not going to waste any more of your time. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until tomorrow night, We'll see you later.